Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video here today. If you guys don't know who I am, I am Green Machine Sam. This is my channel. This is Panthers franchise. We are in season two, starting off in season two. These are some of the trades that I am making for some role players, for some backups, for some key players that I wanted to upgrade certain positions and make everything just a little bit faster. We ended up trading Deion Kane for Afarian Jen Jennings. We ended up trading for Sion Takitaki and Harrison Bryant. We ended up trading for... Uh, Jonathan Gennard and Charles Menehu and David Njoku. Most of these guys were on the trade block, so don't act like I was going out and trying to cheat, cheese the system. It's just how it was. If a team is putting a player up on the trade block, I will trade for them. Yes, we did just start, uh, sign Demario Davis and Cam Irving, but we are giving up a fourth round pick for them, and it's good value for them. They are getting something that they do need. Tim Williams, Gennard Avery, and Troy Fumagalli for Rashawn Gary and J.K. Scott. We ended up trading later uh, Michael Pilardi and switching sevens with the Packers as well so that they can get a punter. That's one thing I do like about 2K is you can trade more pieces at once. Remember, we are doing a new system here, which is two games per episode, only bigger plays, so you'll see the gains of eight or plus touchdowns, turnovers, or scores will be in the video. These are only about 19, 20, 3 minutes long, so keep that in mind. We are playing the Cardinals once again, the revenge of the former franchise. Gonna hit Team Grant running up the sideline here. We end up training for Jamal Adams, remember, and Andreas Simmons at the end of the last season. Uh, this team is looking good, we just have to put the pieces together. Uh, one of the big key things is, I think, was it? Was Brown injured? Because I accidentally left injuries on there in preseason, and he was the only person to get injured. Kyle Murray will end up half uh, quarterback drawing into the end zone here for a touchdown. Cole McDonald, he's going to be our starting quarterback. He earned the right last year at the end of the season to be our starting quarterback. Yes, we have Ryan Stanley. Yes, we have Mitchell Trubisky. I don't care. Starting Cole McDonald here on the right to start, and he will be the starter until otherwise. On third down and 10 later in the drive at their 44 yard line. Going to roll out looking for somebody. Chris McCaffrey pick up the block. Please, he does. And Coleman Brown will pick up the first down all the way down to the 26 yard line. That's one thing Coleman Brown can do is scramble for yards. On a corner route, we're going to throw it to DJ Moore and he'll catch over the shoulder, over the shoulder catch in front of Buda Baker. And uh, DJ Moore will score. The first touchdown of the year for us. He's in the dance on him. Not gonna lie, I was kind of rusty, and you guys tore me apart. Team Grant, making one guy miss, and just gonna outrun everybody. Uh, Dante Jackson's fast, but not quite fast enough. Team Grant. We ended up getting married to Team Grant, because I just didn't want to win. The reason I only wanted to run with two running backs, basically. just for the simple fact, doesn't matter. No, three. Uh, we have both ones, but. Uh, because I just didn't need him. I think so. So Wednesday did his job a little bit better, and uh, Jonathan Taylor is that power guy, and Chris McCaffrey is that all-around guy. There's no reason to have Jakeem Grant. Uh, we ended up scoring on that drive a field goal only 14-10 here in the second quarter. Seven minutes left to play, just under eight minutes. So I'm really going to scramble. We didn't really protect against this well, and I didn't really start playing QB spies out there. Luckily, we ended up do bringing. Colin Murray down after he runs all the way down to the 30 yard line, basically. Later in the drive on the first and 10, I fell asleep, and they're going to score. No, they're not. He's going to run. He's going to slide. He has a ton of yards already. Woo! But then when I scrambled with Kyler Murray, he seems so as fuck. He can't escape that deep chance. Kenny Drake ends up scoring here. Get the ball back. Four minutes left to play, hand off to McCaffrey, final hole, eventually brought down at the 38 yard line. Play action fake here, gonna roll out, trying to find somebody finding OJ Howard. That's the question that we have right now. Who is our tight end of the future? Do we pay OJ Howard? Do we go with Irv Smith on his rookie contract? Does David and Joku step up for some reason? End up getting a contract. Baker Patrick will drag it down at the 26 yard line. A very good rush. We'll end up selling for three before the half, and we'll have to go into the locker room. We'll get the ball at the halftime. 
and we are down still by a score, 21 to 13. Play action fake, two play action fakes. Gonna look, trying to find somebody. OJ Howard coming across the field, will end up dropping the football. I don't know why I had that in there. Not good. I normally don't have drops. Preston Williams gonna find a space in there. He's gonna use his big body to catch this football. For McDonald, once again, finding DJ Moore on the comeback route and Drake Kirkpatrick will overshoot and will end up getting down to the nine yard line because I take a weird route with DJ Moore anyway, which kind of like fucked up the defense. I had circle open the whole time and I did not care. I'm gonna throw this ball and intercept. Carson Red. Cool. Good to know if he likes intercepts. Just kidding. I knew that last. He's gonna send out a little bit of a blitz package. Gonna throw to Max Williams. He's gonna break off one tackle. Fall forward to the 33 yard line after being drugged down by Isaiah Simmons. End up, you know, X smashing and uh, threw another pick. Already, holding down and not looking great. Throwing three picks already. Team, team Lance. He's not free to go through the hole real fast. And, uh, a big play. End up settling for a field goal after we stop him. Then throw to Paris Campbell. Make Patrick Peterson look silly. He's going to look lost over there. Trying to find something. Finding something. Come on. Caffrey up the sideline. It's too fast for Jordan Hicks. Gonna pick up the first down, get inside Cardinal territory. We have to make a move now. Only nine minutes left in the game. Giving to McCaffrey across the middle on that little halfback uh, angle route. Gonna try to run the same play. Nothing going there. Just gonna dump it off with the Williams. Tell him to pick up some yards. He ends up getting the first down down to the eight. Nope, never mind. Two, two interceptions. Sorry. I thought he threw four eights for some reason. Man, coverage. Gonna dump it off to Jonathan Taylor. He's just gonna outrun Buda Baker and go into the end zone. I don't think Pat Pete, even if he would have got there on time, would have been able to stop me. I would have just trucked his ass and got into the end zone. Eight minutes left here on a one score game down by three. Guys, step up on defense now. Gonna throw it to Max Williams, and I just don't cover correctly. And that's my fault. Now it's me, I'll take the blame. They end up punting later, rolling out, going across the middle, DJ Moore. He just has the speed to beat Dre Kirkpatrick. I thought I could make one guy miss and hope to pick up a couple extra yards. That did not happen. I'm getting drugged down by Deontay Thompson. Going to go to play action fake here once again to McCaffrey, linebacker bites, man coverage. In my face is the pressure, and we're going to throw Preston Williams on the sideline. He comes up big. Uh, 20 for 35, 300 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. We end up not tying the game. Uh, we ended up getting sacked out of the goal range. We just had to punt it away. Max Williams making those look silly for some reason. Apparently, white guys can play football. We end up losing the game. Uh, I just didn't get the ball back, I don't think. And uh, running was not our strong suit. They ran all over us, they took the ball away twice. And that's my fault. Uh, I have to play better with the football. I have to make sure that I can't make those stupid mistakes. If I do, then we're going to lose games and we're going to be in the same situation as last year. Back at home now in the blacks in our normal uh, game jersey. I throw a risky ball to Preston Williams and he's going to come up clutch with that little catch over the corner. Hopefully we can improve on last week's situation that we got going late in the game. Hand off to McCaffrey. McCaffrey's just going to get tackled in the backfield by the linebacker. On the punt. J.K. Scott. Got to boom it away here. Like just run downfield with Ward. Trying to get there. Trying to get there. And we end up stopping it at the one yard line. J.K. Scott already proven his work here. Ended up running a couple plays in five yards, and here we are on the five at their six. I just rushed up, and uh, Jeffrey picked up the first down. Remember, CGJ is at corner now because of the two safeties we brought in. He fits in that little corner role a little bit better than the other guys do. So, Zach Ertz across the middle on that little in route, that 12 yard in route, we pick up a first down. I just kind of get out there with Zach Bond. I thought 
throw was going to be to the guy that was on that little curl route. Not at all. Going to pretend like I'm blitzing, drop back, cover this tight end. Carson Wentz is going to take off. Now would have been a penalty in real life. I'm going to lie, it's not. Man coverage here. I just get exposed. Woo! This is a video about me getting exposed. Let's go. Woo! I'm stupid. And then here, safety just doesn't step up. Jamal Adams just didn't step up. Like, come on now. You're literally known for your blitzing and your canceling ability in real life. As a safety. Step up and make that play, please. Third and six, trying to find somebody finding Campbell, going to catch in traffic. Four for four for McDonald, just not driving the football down the field yet. Looking, finding Campbell once again in front of the defender. Going to motion Campbell over. Finding OJ Hill, he's going to pick up the first down inside the red zone at their 15. Six for six, 57 yards it looks like. Fourth and one. Gonna go for it since we are in their territory. I don't want to give up for this good field position. Donovan Taylor is gonna take it all the way into the touchdown. Brian Graham will end up coming off the field with an injury. So Jonathan uh, Taylor is gonna end up scoring the first rushing touchdown for the team. Throws to Zach Ertz, leaving leaves him inside. Corner just doesn't know what's going on, and he will end up taking it all the way down to our red zone. So one play, flip the field. Good for them. Uh, check in demand here. Fourth linebackers play good coverage and uh, didn't. So we're going to fucking knock the shit out of who's that? They go white side? Yep. Why do the Eagles have so many wide receivers? Like. Throw here to Jalen Reader. Touchdown. On plant. If you have Jalen Reader, you have JJ Arce, the white side. You have Puma Gun, the full gun uh, You have Jeffrey, you have Deshaun Jackson. Oh, come on. We can't find one good wide receiver. Slant here for DJ Moore. We'll get us down inside the 35 yard line. 14 to 7 here in the second quarter. End up making it a 14 to 10 game. They have the ball now. And we have to back draw. Three Cohen's going to take it up the field for just over 15 yards. Call it 16. 68 points left now here in the second quarter. 30 to 10. And try to roll out and Brian Burns gets the sack. Awesome to see him succeeding without having to do double A gap blitzes or just do any blitzes in general. 19 seconds left, gonna call a timeout. Uh, we ended up, I think, throwing on the pick. Gonna force fumble here. Tier Gross Matos is gonna pick it up. Jamal Islands is the sack and a force fumble. Tier Gross Matos can't outrun Street Cohen. Get a route ran just a little bit out of the great and uh, would have been a touchdown. And we ended up running the football there and uh, did not score. So, fun fact. Hand off here, McCaffrey. He's to the outside. Breaks one tackle, falls down at the 38 yard line, fourth and inches. Gonna go with a little fakey fake. And uh, end up getting it out of pure luck. Getting all the way down inside the red zone. I was like, because when I saw the guy come through, I'm like, oh, fuck. And then I saw the corner, I was like, no. And then, I, and then I got down into the red zone, and I'm like, oh, yes, I'm the greatest Madden player of all time. Going to throw this ball, and I'm not quite sure. I don't quite remember if that was meant for OJ Howard or if that was meant for the receiver, and it was off target. I don't remember. Uh, Going to hand off to Caffrey. Caffrey takes it in. Touchdown. Both the running backs have a touchdown now. Going to run a little two zone coverage here and uh they're gonna find who that Arcega or was that Rieger I think that was Arcega let's throw a dangerous ball because we haven't done that before Campbell ends up catching it I would have scored a touchdown if I was in a dumbass I didn't think he caught it they're just gonna hand the ball off once again and McCaffrey's gonna score once again so Campbell loses out on the touchdown McCaffrey gets another one 24-14 now. Flipping the scripts on the Eagles. They gotta get something going here. So they're gonna drop back to pass with Wentz. He's gonna roll out and he's gonna get snatched by Burns once again. You just can't escape the man. Second sack of the day. Second sack of the season, I'm pretty sure as well. 
You find McCaffrey in the flat. As soon as he's going to pick up the first down, maybe he's going to step up to try to make a play on him. He's going to let him get the first down on that drive. He's done a little bit of a blitz here, and Zach Bond will get home. I'm glad he got home as soon as he did, because Brian Burns would have got half a tack if it was any later. He's going to throw DJ Moore on this little uh, back shoulder fade here, and it actually works for some reason. He ends up going up to getting that, getting that with one hand. That's one thing I didn't like about the catch, but hey, he, it actually worked. So, 31-14 now here in Carolina. Five minutes left. They have to do something if they want back into this game. Going to find our Sega white side across the middle, getting all the way down into our territory at the 40-yard line. Going to motion Tariq Cohen out into the flat. Going to run a little stick route option. And throwing it to Jeffrey, he's going to use a big body, block out CGJ, and catch the football. 3.50 remaining. And dump it off into the flat. Two miles Sanders this time, and he's going to take it to the, to the end zone because I'm a dumbass. Okay, though. 31-21 here in the fourth. Three minutes, 40 left. Hand off to Cassie. And Cassie's going to go all the way up to the 41-yard line. Second and one here now. Brings up second and one. Play action fake, dropping, looking, rolling, trying to find somebody. Can somebody please get open? Throwing it up. Howard goes up against it in front of the corner. Lands in the end zone. Touchdown. Panthers. Let's go. Him and Taysom Hill are going to celebrate in the end zone. As they have probably developed a relationship over the last year and a half. Because, well, let's just put it this way. They spent a lot of time together because they've been either tight ends together, they've been blockers together, all this fun stuff. And they're probably in the same girls a lot of time. Interception here by Okariki. Just huge debate. Carson Wentz didn't see me. Driving back, man coverage looking. Pump fake to McCaffrey, throwing it up to Williams. He ends up going up and getting it. Weird for him to do that because he never does that. And that's part of the reason why I've looked to trade him. Which is fine. Going to throw this back shoulder fade to Williams in the end zone. He's going to get his feet in against Darius Slay. What a good play from him. Now the back shoulder fade. That actually worked for some reason. 45-21. Score's getting a little out of hand here. They got it. This game's over for them. But hopefully they can get some momentum. Rolling. Throwing. Across the fucking field. Apparently. And Jack Ruth is going to take up the first down all the way down to the 45-yard line. Second and 10 here. 150 remaining. Throw another ball to Zach Ertz, and he's going to catch it. Pick up almost the first, probably even the first if they really want to call it. Third down and 10 now here at the 30-yard line after a couple plays. Play action fake, looking, looking, trying to find somebody, and they'll find uh, Rieger there on the sideline. Hurry up offense here for the Eagles now. Going to take another pick with Okariki. Okariki, the god. With only 40 seconds left, I'm pretty sure we just run out the clock here with McCaffrey. I'm pretty sure I actually end up getting it like a big game. I'm going to bounce it to the outside, try to force my way up the sideline, getting out at the 25-yard line. With that being said, we ended up winning the game. Uh, we beat them in all facets of the game, pretty much. Uh, I think the passing yards are, you know, questionable, but whatever. If you guys like this content, like any of the content on my channel, if you guys want to watch more of it or have... Or if you guys want your rosters updated, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff. Follow on Twitch for more fun and live fun. With that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.